Okay, tonight we are going to make a five gallon um, mouse trap, five gallon bucket mouse trap. With me to help me is Mr. Nathaniel with his new haircut. So we're going to make a rolling mouse trap to use water to drown them with. So what we started with and we didn't show is that we made a hole here. Yes, mister. And one on the exact same side. Oh. We're taking the clothes hanger and Go just cutting the straight part out. Make sure it's plenty long. Then we have a white piece of pipe. Nathaniel, go ahead and grab the pipe. We're going to see if that was long enough, but obviously, when sized to the bucket, really just not long enough. So we're going to go get two um, pop cans and try it. Okay, for our bucket trap, we're going to use two soda cans. So what we're going to do is take the ring at the top, flip it around. Little man, please bring my bucket back. So you Can want I the can like that? No, you need it flipped. Okay. Don't take it off. See, look, that's not going to hold the wire very well. Okay, so we have that. Now we're going to punch some holes in this side, preferably in the middle. So we have two little things. Nathaniel's trying to drill one. And John is just going to pop a hole. I think Daddy's worked better. Why don't you hand him the spray thing? Let me help you. Pop a hole. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our wire and put it right through this hole. Then we're going to go through the soda can to the outside. And we're going to use the tab as kind of like a holding system to hold it. So then we have a spin. So I'm going to do that with both of them. And I suggest going through the little, the cut hole instead of the mouth hole first. Okay. I'm going to go right through the other side. In theory, we're going to go right through the other side. In reality, we're going to work it through there. Okay, now we have this. So we have this little spinning action, hopefully. I'm going to take these wires and just bend them down on both sides. Then we're going to put some peanut butter on here and see if we can make a mouse trap. We just got some peanut butter we're going to put right in the middle. Try to get the mice to walk out there so that these things will spin. Okay. Just, yeah, just spin the spin the soda can so it's on. No, 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 no. With your finger. Like you want the peanut butter to... There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Just spin it. No, that's not peanut butter to eat, buddy. It's peanut butter to... Because, yeah, like that one. Just keep rubbing. There you go. All the way around. There we go. All right, now we're going to take this out to the barn. We're going to fill it up with water. Then we're going to see what we catch in the morning. Ramps. Oh, there we go. We have two different ramps coming up so that the mice can get up there. So we'll check it tomorrow, see how many we have drowned. So our mouse trap didn't work. We got no mice. None. And there's literally mice there eating the hog food. So we know they're there. I believe, and our theory is, is that... They didn't catch it because the cans are not rolling freely. They're kind of going to one side so the mice are able to flip it. And it's where our wire was a little bit high to not hold it in the middle. So we're going to do two things. One, we're going to try to rerun the wire through the middle of the tab instead of through the larger side. See if that works. If that doesn't work or if we can find some longer PVC, we're going to replace the cans with PVC and try that. So... I'm going to go ahead and post this video, and then we're going to do like an updated one later. All right. Bye, guys.